Mm. You know, I don't sense that from her. Um, so I was responding too quickly, but um, can one even be urgent and as a philosophical or thinking being? That I think is a, a hidden question, but what does one take recourse to in the event of an emergency? That's one of the questions she asked. The other um, motif that we didn't get to address here today is that of personhood. Maybe you've been working on it. Mm -hmm. And again, the nobodies aren't people. Or they don't. If you're a person, you're a moral person and personality. There, I would start off with Schelling and the thinking of personality, which has been served an eviction notice from philosophical premises. That's really, really difficult, and it sounds like, you know, some 50s song, like she's got personality. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but personality is um, how do you locate it, how do you read it, how do you promote it, um, upgrade or down or degrade it. Uh, did Heidegger have a personality? Was he a person? Um, these are questions she does fly in there, flies right out in a sense, and yet she's depending on something like the person. Philosophically, it won't be, there aren't great receptors for that. One would have to reroute through another airstrip and go through um, shelling and restart the engine. Now, Nietzsche started hinting I want to see the personality of people who, if they're little authoritarian assholes, you know, behind major concepts. He was often thinking of Hegel, wrongly or rightly. But Nietzsche tries to say, show me the personality behind this thinking. I'd like to um, address maybe the personalization and personality with regard to some of these questions. Um, Judith, you showed how in the section you cited, how activity begins to turn the distinction into a matter of degree. But we do pull up short, I seem to recall in the essay, before the act itself. Mm -hmm. Activity and act are then distinguished. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's um, true. So even as we approach by degrees, um, she pulls still that emergency break. Um, and um, to my mind, that cites a whole tradition of an um, and um, and all that uh, goes with that. Um, Larry is referring to Faust, the way it opens uh, with the performative um, translation of the Bible that says, in the beginning was the deed, rather than the word, the word. or a, yeah. another translation of the word as deed. Which is a work of translation that I would argue begins what is for the rest of the work the deferral of this suicidal ideation. So it has that, um, uh, in my ears, that, that emergency quality um, that gets back to the Masnama um, and to the Masnbaise that were both um, mentioned. Um, Masnbaise in Benjamin, um, and we talked about this in class the other day, so excuse my repeating myself to those in the class, but I think Masnbaise operates in uh, Benjamin uh, as a contrast to a, a movement of personalization or in-groupification that has to do with the relationship um, to and through the gadget um, or gadget love. Um, so that I, I hear that as almost parallel to her notion in passing of the notion of the self um, as something that's pulled as a kind of emergency break because it's no longer the masses as such um, but a certain uh, relationship uh, with regard to mass technologization and mass psychologization um, uh, that allows, at least for the sense, of administer self-administering the shock um, that one is exposed to. Um, so that um, he begins to carve a space of um, affirmation or survival um, uh, before the console, before the off-on switch uh, or the standby switch or whatever. Um, so, I mean, I, th I think it's worth marking that in, in Eichmann in Jerusalem, we, we don't actually see um, forgiveness. It's not, it's, and, and in fact, we don't see mourning either, which seems to me to be linked with the possibility of forgiveness. We see a, we see a struggle with vengeance and a call for judgment, but we don't, but 
maybe actually both of those would dissolve a bit um, uh, if we had uh, a, a different kind of um, question of, of what it means to mourn or what it means to forgive as a relationship to catastrophic loss um, and catastrophic murder. So I don't think we can go there, but I, I, I want to say that it's important to mark that absence um, as a kind of uh, constitutive horizon of, of, of the problematic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim? Well, I was wondering if we could potentially read in the beginning of us, I think, in the Nietzsche as the mother, uh, Heidegger characterizes as quiet, shy, enduring the agony of having to scream, and in fact, birthing the boy, Heidegger, the inheritor of this message, um, who heard him, who was compelled to hear and to keep hearing, addicted to hearing, um, and then uh, as a part of that hearing, which Nietzsche also lays out in his text, the necessity of forgetting, forgetting Nietzsche, forgetting Nietzsche's thought, this is the hardest thing that you're going to have to do is forget it. And then as a, a sort of a reflection of what, what Larry was talking about, then Nietzsche would be the absent mother, the, the missing good object that was the one that Heidegger would be thinking with as he's thinking alone. That's just exemplary, I think. It's very, very, um, very persuasive and moving and very um, necessary to consider, indeed, that there's also the massive transmission problem, the pro problem of legacy, between whose legacies <laughs> emerges what, and, and heritage that has been um, disrupted, violated, and, um, and how does, one of the questions, and, and you're absolutely right to remind us, uh, at least implicitly, that this is a question of, of pedagogical um, emergence and, and, and obedience or listening to and learning from and, and emerging from a mentor who might be um, designated or not. So I, I'm very, very um, happy to, to, to um, and, and also freed up to see the Heideggerian struggle here with locating himself as the possible reception desk for a Nietzsche who has been mangled, misheard, misused. Also, Heidegger himself felt that he really messed up and, um, and um, how does one somehow come home? Maybe he then in that also sees his potential for mother. Mm-hmm. 